but sometimes people, you know, when I say I'm a photographer and a filmmaker, you know, sometimes, okay, well, what do you like the most? Like, I, there's no such thing. There are two different ways for me to tell a story. If I can tell a story in one photography, great. You know, I did my job. And if I need more to have frames, you know, moving next to each other to actually tell the story, I don't think there's too much of a variation there. Cut, that was beautiful. Photography kind of came in my life in a traumatic way. All of my uh, childhood phot photographies, you know, was inside this, this uh, cardboard box that my dad left to my grandmother's garage. It flooded one, one day and all the photos were lost. The digital era came, I almost became obsessed on like taking photos of everything I could. I figured if I have a camera on me, I can just point and see if the, you know, if the composition is right or the lighting is, feels right. But I think it also goes back to the whole trauma thing. I almost have this instinct that I have to capture as much as I can, you know, all the time to preserve memories and preserve moments. Now that I have a kid and family, you know, it kind of helps me grow that memory catalog. This film is about time. My obsession with time comes from like being an immigrant, you know, like even in a different country. And my dad uh, told me something one time that I was talking to him about that, like, hey, I feel bad, you know, like we live so, you know, so far away from each other. And he told me, well, we lived everything we could possibly live together, you know, like now you have your kid, you, you're doing that all over again, you know? And that's kind of where, you know, where the whole um, story comes from, how we perceive time and how we can, through love and through relationship, almost bend time. In a sense, you know, I would love to go back to my childhood. And for me, the spaceship represents like a physical childhood, you know, reference. And there are a few moments that I really want to capture in a fast way. So having the ability to just compact this camera, going to the, you know, to the place that I want in this case, like I really went inside a spaceship that was like compact and, you know, small. And for me to just get that camera and the lens that I needed and, and kind of get this intimate time, was really, really uh, helpful. I believe that a camera like this opens the doors of creativity. To have the ability to just like build this camera as big as we want with like these amazing cinematic lenses and then going like really, really compact and just like getting the shots as intimate as possible was definitely something that really made a difference. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> wow, that is so cool guys, so, so cool. The pressure is massive, that moment when I went away for a bit. I, oh man, you guys, I don't believe you guys got that moment. But it was definitely like um, a thankful, you know, moment. Like, hey, we did it, everything, you know, went fine. And I couldn't do this by myself for sure. You know, the team was amazing. For anyone out there that wants to start filming and, and work in a short film, just find personal relatable stories that you love first, you know? Like, if people like it or not, that's another story, you know? But you have to be proud of that story, you have to be connected to the story and, and just go from there.